Hey everyone, welcome back to Quant Prof. In this video, we are going to solve a simple yet tricky quant interview problem. Let's look at the problem. Does there exist a positive integer power of 3 that ends with 100 zeros followed by a 1? If no, prove it. If yes, find such a positive integer. Pause the video here if you want to give it a try. There are many possible approaches to this problem. We will use the binomial theorem. The original problem asks whether there exists a positive integer power of 3 that ends with 100 zeros followed by a 1. We will solve this for the case of three zeros. The same approach extends directly to any number of zeros. Consider an integer power of the form 4m, where m is a positive integer. This can be written as 9 raised to the power 2m, which can further be expressed as minus 1 plus 10 raised to the power 2m. Using the binomial theorem, we can expand this. Notice that the terms involve minus 1 raised to either an odd or an even power. We can determine their signs and simplify the expression accordingly. Notice that the first term is simply 1. Now focus on the terms from the third line onward. Each of these has at least 4 trailing zeros, since each is multiplied by a power of 10 that is at least 4. Now focus on the terms in the second line. We can choose m so that each term in this line also has at least 4 trailing zeros. For example, taking m equal to 1000 works. With this choice, all terms except the first have at least four trailing zeros. The first term is one, and the entire expression is positive, so the expression must end with three zeros followed by one. Let's consider another problem. We flip a fair coin repeatedly. We stop the process the first time the total number of tails is strictly greater than the total number of heads. At that stopping time, what is the expected proportion of tails among all flips made? It may be helpful to think in terms of the Taylor series expansion of inverse trigonometric functions to compute sums in this problem. Hope you liked the video. If you want to learn how to solve these kinds of interview problems, we invite you to check out our Course Quant Interview Masterclass, where we teach you how to think when solving difficult problems. We also cover the entire theory, specifically tailored for quant interviews along with over a thousand problems. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Until then, Godspeed.